Hey, thanks for installing ShopPhone. My name is Ahmed. I am one of the creators of this app. And you know, before we really dive in uh, and start using the app, I wanted to give you a few, spend a few minutes giving you some tips and tricks on how to use ShopPhone to its full potential for its purpose, which is to help you increase your sales and increase your retention for your online store. Now, before we get started, you can skip directly to any part in the video that you want, specific instruction for, whether it's logging in, adding team members, adjusting your settings. We'll get through all of that really quickly. But before that, uh, I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about why we built the app uh, and really why we think it's so important, uh, especially in this day and age, you know, post coronavirus um, and, and in this world where, where online shopping and remote shopping uh, is kind of really bursting at the seams. To really understand why ShopPhone, we think ShopPhone is such an important uh, app for you, uh, we have to spend a little bit of time talking about the importance of customer relationships. Because at the end of the day, uh, the importance of customer relationships is what drives the value of ShopPhone. So let's talk about customer relationships. So, you know, in today's age, there's so much focus on automation, on marketing automation, right? Creating funnels, remarketing campaigns, you know, pop-ups, um, email campaigns, the sequences of email. These automation concepts are a lot more valuable if you're selling low-margin, high-volume products. Things like, you know, iPhone cases, pens, bottles, mugs, things like that. Then automation makes sense. Right, complete automation of, of everything, really just thinking about everything transactionally. But the more you go up in value, meaning you know, selling things like you know, fashion to furniture, electronics, vehicles, uh, vacation packages, when you get up value, when you get to high margin, low volume products, then that customer relationship and that one on one customer conversation becomes way, way more important, right? And so again, we're not saying that automation is bad. It's just we want to get the right balance for your store. That's why we built ShopPhone. What ShopPhone does very specifically is it's a mobile app that alerts you. Hey, Ahmed, this person just did this on your store. Maybe we should reach out. Uh, I'll start with our most famous and most uh, used feature, which is the abandoned checkout alert. So for example, it would go, hey, Ahmed, this person just just added these 17 products to their cart worth $700, but they didn't complete their purchase. Why don't we reach out and close the sale, right? The abandoned checkout alerts is our most popular feature. There's other features, VIP alert. Hey, Ahmed, this person just became a top 1% of our customer. This person just became a really VIP customer. Let's reach out and say thank you. Um, another one is uh, repeat alerts. Hey, Ahmed, this person just made their seventh purchase, their eighth purchase, ninth purchase, whatever a, a, a high number of purchase you want to uh, configure, and it'll alert you through a push notification in your, in your phone. Hey, this just happened. Let's reach out and say thanks. Uh, so again, they're really well-timed, perfectly timed alerts that come directly to you as soon as they're relevant so that you can reach out to these really high value customers and close the sale. Now, uh, talking a little bit about the abandoned checkouts, for example, because you know the, the biggest question we get is, uh, I already have emails being sent out to my abandoned checkouts. So I already send out uh, an email reminding them to, to convert. Now, that's that's great, but remember what we, what we said about automation earlier is, you don't want to overly focus and over, over rely on abandoned checkout emails because abandoned checkout emails don't work all the time. In fact, they don't work most, most of the time. They only work about 10, 15% of the time. So if you have a high margin product that was in that checkout that was abandoned, let's say it's worth thousands of dollars, why take a 90% chance of failure on such a high value product, on a high value checkout. Wouldn't you rather know that that happened as soon as it happened so that you can call that really high value, that top 1% checkout and say, and try to close them with the phone? Because our data shows almost 50% and up of checkouts that are uh, abandoned, that when a customer, when a merchant calls that customer over the phone, over 50% of the time, that checkout will close. Now compare that to 10%. It's a huge difference. It's not that we're trying to replace the automated emails that go out. Please keep those. 
but this app is really about those really high value checkouts that you don't want to lose because it's why wouldn't you spend five minutes of your day to close you know several hundred dollars or several thousand dollar checkout that's why we built shop phone so that you don't miss out on these really important crucial customers and the conversations to close these customers that's what shop phone is all about so how to log in this is very simple if you haven't done this already it's really quick I'll show you. Once you've logged in, you should have gotten a text message from Shop Phone with a six-digit PIN. You'll take that six-digit PIN and you'll enter it in uh, the app. Great. It's one-time use, secure, uh, so that only you are getting access to your store. So now that we're logged in, uh, let's actually get into using it. So the first page that you'll see when you log in uh, is your recommended call list page. So this page is updated daily, right? So each day you'll see that day's call list. And again, this is based on uh, the configuration that you set. You, know, you define what a VIP customer is to you. You define what a best customer looks like. You define what abandoned checkout value is worth it for you or not to try to recover. So here in this example, let's say I only want to know about the abandoned checkouts. In this case, snow abandoned checkout uh, yesterday. That's a pretty large checkout, let's say for example, and uh, this is their information. I would love to connect with this person to recover. So I could do that uh, through a few things. I could call them, obviously it'll ask me to, to call them. I can send an SMS in which it'll automatically open up my text app, texting app, uh, and have their phone number predefined, pre pre-written, and the template pre-written. So you don't have to type in everything every time. You could do the same thing with WhatsApp, open it up in WhatsApp. And again, WhatsApp will open it up um, uh, in your app along with the template there. Uh, again, you could send an email, which will do the same thing. It'll open up your email app and have the stuff predefined. You could even do FaceTime if they're on FaceTime and have a FaceTime conversation to close the sales. So now, how do we edit those alerts? You do that through the settings. Go into settings, open up alert filters that you'll see here. And this is the list of all the alert filters that you have. So the obvi obviously the, there's the abandoned checkout alert. So here I have $200, 200 pounds, for example, is the minimum, you know, I can make that a hundred. So any checkout, any abandoned checkout over a hundred dollars, I'm alerted about, I could keep it zero so that it's literally any abandoned checkout. If you have a really new store with very low volume, you might want to make it zero so they can kind of build up, uh, get that practice in, um, uh, uh, have those conversations with your earliest customers. Uh, and again, if you have a really uh, huge store uh, and you're, you're a busy person and you can make this $1,000, $10,000. So now you'd only be alerted for abandoned checkouts over that value, or you could just disable it. Now, the other really interesting thing you could do here is um, set different alerts for different team members. So if you have three people on your team uh, and you're, let's say the CEO or the, the person in charge, the manager, and you have the least amount of time, you might want to only get the most valuable alerts. So let's say over $10,000, but then your junior sales team can get the alerts that are above, let's say $500 or $1,000, just something, um, uh, something that's kind of more worth their while. Whereas for you, because you're busy, you may only want the most expensive uh, alerts. New customer alert. So this alert is sends you a list every morning of previous days, new customers that you've created. So these are brand new customers that um, that you that you have generated. Right. The, the purpose of a business is to create a customer and maintain those customers. So once you've created a new customer, you want to be able to maintain them by reaching out and just making sure that their first experience with your brand is a positive one. Um, the follow-up one is one of my favorites. Uh, this was a requested feature uh, where um, uh, merchants that were selling products that expire or that get used up, let's say dog food, where let's say after every 30 days, uh, the dog food uh, pack will finish. And so they need to reorder new dog food. Uh, this is the alert that you would get. So it would send you the list of, hey, Ahmed, these 12 customers made their last purchase 30 days ago. Let's reach out and see if they need a top up. You do the same thing with like protein shakes or food food items or cosmetics, something that you know will need to be replenished. 
you know, however many days. For example, we have one merchant that sells mattresses um, and, you know, every 10 years you should change your mattress. So they have an alert set up where basically every like 3000 days, which is about, you know, less than 10 years uh, is when they get the alert. So every 3000 days, they get the alert, hey, this, this, this customer should probably replace their mattress. Let's, let's not lose their recurring business, right? So this is an example of how you can use that for, for your needs. Um, uh, repeat customer, again, here it's four. So you know, we consider, let's say, for example, anyone that's made four purchases or more is considered like really, really great and we want to send them a thank you gift. Um, and on the similar note is a VIP customer. So uh, however much they've spent. So maybe you know, you want, they want to, sp yeah, if they've sp spent 600 pounds, $600, whatever in your store, um, that's the alert that, uh, that's the alert that you would get. So that's how that works. Now, the alerts don't just edit what alerts you get, it actually also filters these uh, uh, customer uh, contacts here. So here, for example, we have uh, our VIP customers, remember how we made it 500 pounds and up. So these are the uh, five customers that have spent uh, $500 or more uh, in, our, in our store. Right, so we can see these customers have spent all over 500, uh, 500 pounds. The repeat customers, remember we did, um, we did four orders or more. So these are all the customers uh, that have uh, bought four or more products. So you can see here, total orders is four. So, these are, so, so, so now you can actually segment your customers. So um, uh, if you have new collections launching, you, uh, you, know, you have a new discount code going on, you wanna give high priority to, uh, let's say for an early Black Friday special for your, for your best customers, this is the list that you might wanna go to first. So that's there and we'll always be making edits to this too. Um, and yeah, give us some feedback on how we can make this better, even better. Now next up, I showed you a little bit of this before, but it's the templates. So with the templates, you can actually um, edit the templates that will be pre-filled in the SMS, email, or WhatsApp conversation with your customer. So remember how we clicked through SMS and we went to the customer uh, where it already opened up, you know, it had their phone number in the to section and the template already filled in. This is where you would edit that template. Um, you can edit that here. You can also edit both this template and the alert filter configuration in the shop phone uh, website on through the Shopify apps, click through shop phone. So basically that's how, that's how those works. Now for team management, uh, you can actually add team, team members. Because I don't have the admin privilege here, I'm actually testing this as a staff member. As you can see, there's staff next to my name. If you're an administrator, so if you have the admin privileges, you can actually add team members as well. So the way that you would do that is you'd see the button here that would say add team member. You'd click that button and it'd show you a page similar to this, where you would add the name of, the, of your colleague or your partner uh, or your staff member that you wanna have access to this app as well. Um, you type in their name, their email, the phone number, their, their mobile number. Uh, so you'd create, that, you'd create that user on a page like this. They'd get that invitation, they'd get an email and a pin code. And once they enter that pin code, like we did earlier on, uh, they would have access to this app as well. Cool. Last but not least, let's get into just some uh, housekeeping and settings, uh, sorry, support. So you can always get support by going into the app, right? By clicking on the uh, store icon at the top left of the page. You can click on get support and it'll show you uh, my personal phone number and my personal email address. You can send a WhatsApp message uh, to this number or a text message to this number uh, and I'm pretty quick to reply or you can send me an email. And, uh, and I can reply there as well. Uh, you can also request new alert types. Like I mentioned, we're always looking to make improvements to the app. So if there's anything that you wanna see, uh, any type, any alert that, we, that you'd like for your store, but we don't have out, out of those five that I explained, um, you can request new ones here. Um, and then one of us will reach out to you and just confirm kind of what, you, what you're looking for. And if it's something that's interesting that a lot of people are also requesting, then uh, that'll be the next feature that we build. Uh, there's also a link to how-to tutorials, so basically a deep dive, deep dive of in this video uh, with uh, with um, you know deep kind of step-by-step -step instructions on kind of how to do everything uh, that we've just talked about. So that's the tour. Uh, hope uh, this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can, like I said, you can click on get support, uh, reach out to me directly, and I can I, and we can help you out. We really look forward to working with you. Again, thanks for installing us, um, and good luck.